All right, good morning from Boulder City. Uh, sun's about to pop up over that ridge. I'm running a little bit late because I had to turn around and go back to my tackle boxes. I was going to go to Nelson, and the weather's weather forecast down there. Last night it said five, this morning it said 10. So I'm not even going to risk it, and it's already puffing pretty good here. But it's not supposed to kick too hard here until later. And I'm in this, so and I'm just going to be right here, so I'm not really concerned. But uh, we're going to get some good underwater footage today. That's a kind of like a little miniature Alabama rig with a camera in the middle of it. So, and I got the usual underwater suspects. I got some jigs, and I got my uh, mega bass and mega bass wannabe. Uh, $34, $8. And they both do the same exact thing. So anyways, here we go. Stick around. All right, so that's the first boil of the day. This gentleman in his boat was nice enough to whistle and get my attention. Let me turn around. There it is. Coming up on it. So I think these are my, my friends, uh, Tony, Tony, and Dave. But I thought they were talking to me and they were actually looking at me. They didn't see this boil. But there it is. We're about to get some fish. Get my line tangled up. That's just standard. Come on. Kind of want to double up. Probably shouldn't. I don't think I will. Ah, there he is. That is Tony, Tony, and Dave right there. Hey, who was that guy that told me not to go to the tower? <laughs> who was that? Wow. I think I got a real fish here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, there are real fish out here. There was a ton of them back there. We were catching them like crazy back there. No, I mean, this one right here is at least three pounds. There we go, auto release. I figured that was safe. You, I thought you guys would be at Willow. How you been, Earl? Pretty good. Look at that. That's crazy. It's like third cast, third fish. It's taking me longer to get them off the hook than it is to get them into the, you know. Wow, there's, these are some good fish today. That last one was all of three pounds. Nice fish today. Look at that fish finder. There you go. That's the size fish I'm catching today. Another one. I'm already losing track of how many fish I've caught. I'm catching them faster than I can get them off the line and you know get them back in the water. That's not a very big one. That's still fish. Just about every freaking wow. Just about every cast. And there's some nice ones out here today. Auto release. Look at all the freaking birds right there. Man, I got blown way far away from where I was just retying that knot because I was 
I bet you I got below in a half mile. So, I mean, the wind kind of kicked up. I'm kind of running the trough, but it don't matter because I'm in this thing. And, uh, well, it's a little, it's not a, it's not horrible. It's handling it. But, I gotta get back over here with the fish on. This is one of those days that I have to ask the weatherman, how did you get this so wrong? Because every forecast says that I saw said wind coming out of the north at like 5 to 10 miles an hour. This is coming right straight out of the south at about 20. So I, I don't understand. You got one job, dude. So I don't know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be out here. I got a bunch of fish. But it might lay down, who knows. And I'm in, I'm in this thing, so, you know, and I'm pretty close. Oh, I'm about a mile away from my truck, but I'm really close to the shore. Everything goes bad, which, you know, it really never has. Oh, but I always have a plan. So I'm gonna come over here a little bit and see if I can find some, something more. Dave, Dave, Tony. Right there? No, that's not them. Where is that? Them? That is them. That's Dave Dave Tony right there. They're following me. Like as if I know something. But it's probably gonna do the same thing. They're probably gonna try the same thing that I'm gonna try. Come over here and drift that way. Because that worked really good a while ago. I'm gonna try it again. Alright, I misspoke. This is not Dave, Dave, and Tony. This is Tony, Tony, and Dave. So I'm I'm gonna come over here and talk to them a little bit here. The wind's laying down a little bit. I don't see any more boils. I see birds. No. Oh, wait, there's fish. I see fish. We might have to start throwing again here. All right, so the fishies that were over there and over there, they scattered. I don't know where they went, but I'm looking, and the wind kind of keeps coming and going, picking up and then laying down. Right now it's about I don't know. It's at my back, so it's not it's not bad. The, I'm not surfing quite as much as I was there about 20 minutes ago, but it's still I mean you can tell it's not white caps anymore. There's a fish down at 32 feet. I would guess a carp. I don't know. Uh, I did really, really well earlier this morning. It's funny because uh, Tony, Tony, and Dave, they were trying to get my attention and they were looking in my direction and that gigantic boil erupted to the east of them. <laughs> and I'm like, you guys see that, right? That was funny. And uh, we both got several fish out of it. And then they just scattered. I don't even know where they went. <laughs> the last I saw, they went that way. Oh, look, there's a fish right there. And this is like where they where they uh, start boiling again, right in here. So there's a little bit of a little bit of the surroundings. That's where Boulder Harbor used to be. That's the intake tower. Number one intake is uh, right there. about there in there ish it's kind of hard to when you're bouncing in the, in the waves it's kind of hard to line up your finger with where it is but anyways it's over there pointing right at it probably can't see it it's the light the lighter spot in the rocks it's sticking out you won't be able to see it sticking out on, on this camera but it's right there anyways And I'm about to have to turn, and here comes the wind. So that sucks. All right, I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit. Yeah, it's about time for me to get off the water. And I've still got my Go Fish camera out over here. And I don't know where my truck is. It's over there. It's over there. In here somewhere, I think. I think that's it. Kind of at this point, I'm hoping it's not further. But, uh, We'll do a we'll do an outro from 
when I get out of the water. Oh, that's not my truck, that's a boat. Uh, where's my truck? I don't know where my truck is. Must be south of that, because it's not here. It's not right there. So it must be... No, it's way over there. It's quite a ways away. So I'm going right into the wind. It's supposed to be coming out of the north. along and white caps and you're going now would be a horrible time to you know have something get hooked on my go fish camera so I said you know what I'm just gonna reel that thing up reel it up put it away and uh unless this thing lays down like right now between here and that truck right there that you can't see but it's right there I'm done but God, I don't even know how many. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 20, 30 fish this morning. It was one right after that, every cast. It was taking me longer to get them off the hook than it was to hook another fish. I mean, it was literally every cast. So, uh, got to see a couple friends, a few friends. Tony, Tony, and Dave. And, uh, I don't know where they went. But uh, I'm heading for that white GMC right here. So anyways, we are already four subscribers away from the goal for next Wednesday. I think I'm gonna take Ryan and his uh, bag of baits down to his work today. Unless he wants to come for But uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. If you like what you saw? Ask that little dude right there in the kayak. Like and subscribe, give it a share. And I'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. A last look at the basin. Oh, probably uh if if the wind lays down, Nelson tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try it. Yes. I really have no fear of the wind in this thing. It's just, uh, you know, it's just not great. To, <laughs> it's not easy to fish when, it's, when you're doing that. But if I can get down there and get some fish, that'd be a bonus. There we go. Thanks for watching. All right, I got to show you this. I haven't done this yet, but. Okay, you guys saw the nose going underwater. There's water right there. There's probably water in the bottom of this. There is a little bit of water in the bottom of this. I got dried out when I get home. Let's look at the inside of the hull. Considering what I just went through, that is not horrible. That is not horrible at all. So I was getting a little bit of water in the hull. And it was kind of driving me crazy because I never get water in my hull. And I remembered that the day I picked this thing up at Echo Bay, I just I put the fish finder on it in the dark and I did not seal that. Well, it's sealed now. I just did that last night because last time I was out I was in pretty flat water and I still had like about 10 times that amount of water in there. I got it home and I was actually a little bit concerned because I had to sponge it out. There's a sponge right there. I had to sponge it out. So that tells you how much water was in there. So. I mean, it wasn't a lot, but by my standards, it was too much. So that's why I brought the sponge, just in case. I don't know if I had a cracked hull or what, but then I, I sealed that up with the transducer, and that was clearly the problem. So anyways, that's going to do it for this one. 
possibly, possibly uh, Nelson. I don't know. I don't know what the weather's doing. But uh, I gotta get as much fishing in as I can this weekend because Monday starts like seven straight, seven or eight straight. I don't know. It's our fall outage and it's planned, so that's where we tear everything apart, and fix it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you on the water.